Today's experiment is density and tour of elements. We already learned in lecture density is mass divided by volume. So first part is density. And we're going to record the density of liquids and solids both. And in liquids, first of all, we'll record the density of water. And then second part, we will record the density of organic liquid. And then we're going to record the density of solids. So in the solids, we're going to record the density of nickel and the metal cylinder. Second part of the experiment is tour of elements. You will be seeing many different elements in the glass container or in the form of cards. Here is an example. This is carbon. So this is the glass container. And some of the elements in the cards, they are expensive elements or dangerous elements. For example, platinum is shown here. So what we need in order to do this experiment, um, measuring cylinders, 50 milliliter, 10 milliliter, organic liquids, unknowns. I'm going to take B and D, deionized water, nickel metal, and the mud metal cylinder. And um, one more thing which I already mentioned before, the um, different elements in the board glass bottles or in the card form. We cannot dispose the organic liquids in the sink. So we have a special container to dispose them. And this is the container I'm going to use to dispose of my used organic liquids B and D. So let's start with part A, density of liquids. And within that, let's do the measurements for water. So I'm going to record the mass of 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. I just stir it. So now nothing is on the balance pan, which will add to the uh, weight uh, or the mass of the graduated cylinder. I just added um, 15 to 20 milliliters of DI water into the weight um, a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and that's the reading so you can note down the reading and this is going to be at the eye level so you can note it down now I'm going to take the mass of the graduated cylinder and water same volume of water So you are going to determine the mass of water by weighing by difference. And then you will calculate the density of water using the formula mass divided by volume. So we already determined the mass, we already determined the volume, and then you can apply in the formula to get the density. Make sure your significant digits, all right? And then it's always good to have the calculations written there. This, is, this page will not be graded right this is for you but let's see if you made any mistake so you can go back and see what you did and you can correct yourself now second time I added uh, about you know like 35 milliliters of water I did not weigh the um, measuring cylinder again because I'm going to use the same measuring cylinder so you can note down the reading for the second time for the volume of water Here also you are going to determine the density of water the way you did in the previous step. And again, show your calculations. So let's start now the recording the uh, measurements for density for the organic liquids. Mass of 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Now I'm going to discard the unknown uh, liquid B into the waste container. Now 
measuring the mass of unknown liquid B in the graduated cylinder. Now I am going to dispose of unknown liquid B into the waste container. Okay. Now the time is to record the measurements for unknown liquid D. Well, we already had unknown liquid B, right? So this measuring cylinder does have very slight amount of unknown liquid might affect the density of D. So what I will do, I will add few drops of unknown liquid D. And then I will condition it with this liquid. And I am going to dispose of this into the waste filter. So now I added uh, 7 to, between 7 to 9 milliliters of D into the measuring cylinder. You can note down the volume reading. Mass of unknown liquid D and the measuring cylinder. So I'm going to dispose of now my unknown liquid D into the waste container. Now you cannot fill the data for the um, organic liquids density into this table. So volume, mass of liquid plus cylinder, of cylinder means graduated cylinder, mass of liquid, you're gonna calculate by difference, and then the density of liquid. Again, you know, it's always good to show the calculations. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the density of solid. So first, I'm gonna work on the density of the nickel. So I'm gonna record the mass of 50 milliliter beaker. Now I'm going to uh, record the mass of 50 milliliter beaker and the nickel spheres. Make sure you're going to add the nickel spheres into the beaker very slowly because they are pretty heavy and it might break the bottom of the beaker. Now I added uh, about 20 milliliter of DI water into the measuring cylinder. You can note down the reading. Okay, now I'm going to add those weighed nickel spheres into the um, graduated cylinder, which has about 20 milliliters of water in it. And make sure you are going to add these spheres very slowly. You're going to roll them down. Right? Do not add from the top. It will add from the top. It might break the bottom of the cylinder. And likewise, I'm going to add all the other spheres into the metric cylinder. So this is the reading um, of the water after adding the nickel spheres. You can note down the reading of the displaced water now. When you are going to take out the um, nickel spheres from the measuring cylinder, make sure you have your hand in front of the measuring cylinder in order to secure the nickel spheres. Otherwise, sometimes it might roll down and goes into the sink and we might lose them and you can put it in this tray to save them. So here you are going to do the calculations for the density of nickel, so mass of the beaker, mass of the nickel plus beaker, calculate mass of nickel by difference, volume of water, all right, and then um, here when you will uh, do the volume of nickel by displacement, you're going to read it in milliliters, right? But then you are going to convert into centimeter cube. We learned in the lecture, one milliliter equals to one cubic centimeter. The reason is because we always give the density of solids in grams per cubic centimeter, and density of liquids are recorded in grams per milliliter. All right, now we're going to start the um, working on the uh, density measurements for um, metal cylinder. So now I have added um, 25 milliliters of DR water into the measuring cylinder. You can note down the reading. So here I'm going to record the mass of metal cylinder C. So now I have here a metal cylinder, the number is C. 
I am going to roll it down very slowly into the measuring cylinder. And you can record the volume displaced. So now we are going to work on tour of elements, right? So um, this is carbon. You are going to actually give the information about this element into the periodic table. It's uh, basically a worksheet of the periodic table is given here in your lab manual. So this is a place for carbon, right? So what you are going to record. Let's go back here. And you're going to record atomic number, which is 6. Carbon, it's the symbol. Name, carbon, which is the name of the element. And what state is that? This is actually solid, right? And then what is the color? Black. So basically, these are the things basically you are going to mention in the periodic table, which is right there at this place. Okay, now when you would uh, write the information about the elements, make sure you are going to um, mention the group number, either, you know, A and B part, right? Or you are going to mention the numbers 1 to 18. So whichever convention of the periodic table um, you would choose. So the, the column should be basically mentioned. So. I'm going to show you uh, different elements here. Not all of the elements which are present in the periodic table, they are, um, you know, uh, displayed here. So if they are gases which are not displayed here, you are going to write G, right? Mostly the noble gases you will find, which you're going to write G. And liquid, an L for liquids. And you can use different color pencils for that. If you do not find any solid here, displayed so you are not going to write s for that so just leave them blank carbon cobalt calcium titanium Palladium, Chromium, Indium, Zinc, Copper, Silicon, arsenic, tungsten, molybdenum, oxygen, nitrogen, Bismuth, tin, iron, manganese, nickel, lead. Cadmium, antimony, aluminum, iodine, zirconium, sulfur, silver, magnesium. Germanium, lead, oops, sorry, 
mercury sodium these are all basically dangerous mercury sodium right carbon i mean in the form of diamond so this is very expensive lanthanum lithium uranium gold and platinum so that's all about in experiment number three density and tour of elements this is basically the report make sure you are going to fill these three blank spaces when using the balance record the mass to the dash place right so you're gonna check the recordings and see that uh, how many decimal places are in there Similarly, you are going to uh, see the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and then you are going to record the decimal place here and so as for 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. And then you are going to show all the values here. Make sure you show the calculations and um, you know, continue this here on this page. Um, and then you are going to answer this question. That is very important. Um, and then remaining here and we already discussed about this part which is the worksheet of the periodic table you're gonna fill it